Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to be talking about how you should behave with a dog, how you should approach a dog, and I know that most of you guys are probably experts at this already, but if there is a new dog owner here, I think that this information is really important, as well as if there is a dog owner that maybe didn't know about this at all. So yeah, I'm excited to share this with you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, make sure to click on that like button, comment down below, follow us on our social, especially if you need dog training help, don't forget to check out the link in the description to set up a virtual consultation with me or meet in person. Hey guys, so really quickly before we start, I just wanted to mention that the following tips are meant to serve as a guideline. However, dog traits and characteristics can range depending on genetics and upbringing. So while some dogs may be completely unaffected by the things that I'm going to mention, other dogs can be more sensitive to how they are approached, especially if you are a stranger that they've never met before. Over the years of being a dog owner, I have come across and experienced a lot of situations that could have been overall avoided, right? So if you've been here on my channel, you already know of a couple of stories that were kind of scary <laughs> for me and my dogs. So I'm going to give you three things to keep in mind when you are in a public setting and you're you know with a dog or with your dog and what you should really try to do and avoid altogether so number one if you are outside and or in a, any public space and you see a dog number one always 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 ask permission to pet the dog you never know if that dog is reactive is aggressive um, and even though that dog might look very well trained or might look like it's not you know going through anything at all maybe that owner doesn't want you to pet their dog always make sure that you're asking permission to pet a dog especially if you have children make sure that you are asking permission before you allow your child to pet a dog because some people um or some dogs maybe don't like children like you know it's, it's a thing so always keep that in mind number two if you are going to pet the dog make sure that number one you're not giving off nervous energy because even though dogs might not understand that, oh, this person is nervous because of this, dogs can still sniff if you're a little bit sweaty or dogs can still, you know, pick up on certain, you know, body movements that you're making that are uncomfortable that will make them uncomfortable. So even if it's not like a personal thing with you, if you're a little bit nervous about petting a dog, they're gonna feel that and if that dog isn't like super, super well socialized, you can, you know, inadvertently cause that dog to have a bad reaction and you don't want that. Usually if people are like, hey, I'm scared of Dante or I'm scared of this, I'm just like, okay, then like, let's, like don't, don't try to pet him, don't like try to look at him, nothing, because Dante picks up on that stuff very easily. So Peachy is a lot more, you know, tolerant and she's like, I'll make you like me, whether <laughs> you like it or not. That's her personality. So on some occasions, you know, I'll let people approach her, even if they're a little bit uneasy. But if you as a person, you know, don't approach a dog if you're nervous about them, if you're interested, like it's just better not, okay? Now, number three, when you're going to approach a dog, don't bend over and make, you know, kissing noises or high pitched um, noises because that is gonna like get the dog aroused that is gonna get the dog excited that happy energy right same thing as if you approach with nervous energy the dog might get nervous if you approach with really excited energy that's gonna send the dog buck wild okay again unless like it's like a super 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 socialized dog that has you know seen it all right most dogs don't have that um, most dogs haven't had enough life experience, right? So if you get very excited, that dog is gonna probably will be equally as excited and that dog might jump in you and then you might not like that. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna be excited about that, be prepared for that dog to also be very excited about meeting you, okay? And I, per I tell that to people, especially with Peach, because Peach is cute. You want to like squish her face and like say like, oh my God, I love you so much and like, do all the baby noises and like do the kissy noises right but peach she like loves that so she's gonna get very excited so i tell people let peach adjust to her environment for a few minutes and then you can say hi when she's a little more calm because then it's gonna be a different peach it's gonna be a peach that's like okay yeah, i know where i am 
or else, you know, she's going to be very excited. Number four, when you're meeting a new dog, it's always better to ignore them first. So that means, you know, don't try to stick out your hand for them to sniff you. I know it's like a very common thing that people do that I've done before, before I knew any better. So don't like approach a dog and stick your hand out. It's always better to just ignore the dog, the dog sniff you, make his own assessment of what's going on. And, you know, then little by little, you know, maybe approach, maybe pet, if the dog is inviting that kind of behavior. And what I mean by that is if a dog is like sniffing you but then going back to the owner and like not really um, trying to engage with you, just leave the dog alone, as cute as it is, right? My next tip is don't stare at a dog's eyes for too long, okay? Again, some dogs are totally fine with this, but for other dogs, it weirds them out. It weirds Dante out, okay? Like if somebody is staring at him for too long, it weirds him out. Now, I have known that this is a pain point for him, so I will put him in a situation where he is getting stared at, but in a training setting, right? Like paying attention to him and rewarding him for good behavior, okay? Because at the end of the day, like not everybody can, like you can't ask people not to stare at your dog, right? Especially if you have a big dog. So, you know, take that into consideration. But if you yourself, you know, are going somewhere and you're seeing a dog, don't like, you know, make direct eye contact with them because for some dogs that's kind of weird and they don't really like it. So yeah, that's my other tip. Uh, if there are children around, and I'm saying this because I noticed my brother do this last time um, I took Peach over. If children, you have to, you know, as the guardian, and if you have a dog in the area or as the owner and there's a child, you have to, you know, speak to the parents or if the child is old enough to understand what you're telling them, um, you have to explain to the child how to approach the dog and how to behave with the dog. So for example, I came over, I went over my, my, my mom's house, Peach went to go say hi to my brother, and my brother had a band-aid on his finger and he didn't want Peach to like lick it or, or, or see it or bump into his finger. So what he did is he started backing up and like kind of running away. And what that does is that made Peach want to go see him even more because he's doing this interesting thing and she wants to go and, and chase him, right? So I explained to him, if Peach is coming up to you, don't try to run away because Peach is going to be like, oh, we're playing now. So he understood and then Peach was able to pick up on that as well. So that's something that you can, you know, practice with kids, um, just making sure that you are telling them how to behave with your dog appropriately so that everybody can live in a harmonious uh, environment. <laughs> all right guys, so yeah, those are all my tips for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. If there's anything I missed that you think is important for people to know about how to approach a dog and how to behave around the dog, leave that in the comments down below. I appreciate all of you guys and all of your suggestions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and see you until next time, bye.